what up, party people? Matt Lee would find a thrifty yard, you know, that special city records, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the wood glue video part one, this is part two, uh, caused quite a little controversy in my world because uh, people started arguing about what could be and would be played on it. Because on the video, if you remember, I said, and if you don't or you haven't watched it, I'll update you. I said the only cool thing about cleaning your records with wood glue is that when you, if you peel it off properly, you can actually play that record backwards because it's a copy, uh, a reverse copy of a record. Uh, someone called me out on it and said it's not a reverse of it, it's actually an inverse and they are absolutely correct and they also said that it would not play. I disagree with that. Here, someone else said that it'll play the exact record the same way, it's just a copy of it. I said originally that it would play it back masked or reverse. This is what I think will happen after I thought about it. So if you think about it, when you pour the glue in the record, the, the grooves of the record now become the peaks of the glue copy and the top or the uh, peaks of the actual record are now the grooves of the glue copy. So what makes that tricky is I understand why he thinks that it wouldn't play anything because technically the groove is the, the peak has no groove but needles will actually read side to side they read the groove walls as well so i think what you're going to hear is a bunch of garbled mess because it's two different tracks the, the walls of those grooves are now one side we'll call it left channel right channel which is not exactly technically correct but just for sake of argument or call it left side of the groove and the right side of the groove the left side is now what was once the right side of the groove on the record is now the left side on the glue and the right side is now the left side but they're two different tracks because the valley is the peak and the peak is the valley so i think you're going to hear two different tracks at the same time two seconds apart because the record is 33 rotations per minute which is about two seconds per or two rotations or rotation every two seconds so you're getting two seconds off so you're gonna your ears are gonna be all messed up that's my theory. Hopefully you understood exactly what I'm saying. Let me know if you, tell, if you can tell me what record you think this is. If you're gonna do this at home, change your needle. Don't use a good needle. I'm just using a really cheap black Grado tip for this. <laughs> uh, it's actually a dead one. I've already used it. It's already changed out, so I don't care about this, but I generally wouldn't use a black Grado for this. But here you go. Good luck. so good so good once it hits your ears it's so good you just want more track number two <laughs> what do you think that record is? I know what it is, so it's pretty entertaining. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I'll let you know tomorrow what it is. Also, when you play that, the needle actually plays backwards or from center out, which makes sense because it's a reverse, so when it's spinning, it's spinning backwards. So you have to play it from the center, and it comes all the way to the outside. So it's kind of cool. Uh, but I think that clearly states that I, I think I'm right there. I think you're hearing two seconds apart per record on each side, so it's all it's all messed up. Later.